What is going on guys? My name is Roma back again from Rom Reviews here. Unfortunately, my video crashed as I was near the end of the episode, so I decided to do a review because I was not going to even attempt to re-record that because that episode was fantastic. It was actually probably one of my favorite episodes and it was probably the most just like how much this would be the Empire Strikes Back in terms of this show because everything wrong that could have happened kind of happened. We got to see, I think the saddest thing was we got to see Crone die. And I did not think that we were actually going to see her die. I thought she was actually going to be even more and more prevalent in the story. But they killed her. But before they killed her, they showed her during the time when she was still a, a child. Um, when she was in one of the plants. And then she grew up and then she met one of the beasts, the demons or whatever the hell they are. And then it showed her making the decision to become a possible mom candidate. She got the chip implanted into her. And one thing that I liked is as you got to see the amount of girls who basically decided, no, I'm going to be try to become a mom. I don't want to be eaten. Um, you, was, you saw this large group. But as this little montage that went through with all the sad music playing in the background and this montage going on with Sister Crone and going through all these other trials and tribulations, just them learning to become a mom, you got to see the numbers slowly and slowly decrease. So I don't know if like they probably got eaten. Um, but it made you feel bad because she was trying so hard. She tried so hard just to live. She wanted to replace Isabella to become the best mom. Um, one of the best moms. And she worked her ass off. She wasn't even the best. And then she slowly became better and better as you saw it during that montage. And... The, in reality, the grandma, uh, uh, grandma, the title, uh, we got to see her, and she was basically on Isabella's side the entire time. So Crone had never had a chance; she would never actually have gotten that plant. So all of her trials and tribulations up to that point was kind of redundant. And then, what just seemed like, yeah, this is the end for Crone. Now she's gonna go to another plant. No. They sent her to die, and I had a feeling that might have been the case, but I was I, I felt like that wasn't going to be the case, because it just felt so unlikely, but they killed her off, and it was pretty damn brutal. The one thing that I, I wish it, it showed, it, I wish it kind of showed her fighting it, like you saw her pull out what looked to be like a knife almost, and I thought she was at least going to go down trying to fight. But unfortunately, she gr got grabbed and then she got stuck with one of those heart pin things, which I still don't know what they are. It seems like they're a white flower, but the moment they get stuck inside someone and then it turns red, it basically drains that person's everything. Their eyes white out completely. They their skin sunks uh, sinks in, and it was almost it was very, very like almost disturbing. And then they got to the point where there was going to be a day where the the three well the five of them were going to do the plan where they were going to scout out so ray um yeah ray is guiding isabella away but then isabella's like yeah i don't need your help anymore you're useless even i i know you're a traitor th this entire time i know you've been a double agent um but in this case you would be a triple agent in this case and she she knew from the get-go um, during this entire time, so making his plans redundant, and it was just, it seemed like she had the upper hand, and I wanted to feel like they still had another plan up their sleeve, something, but just judging from the amount of sheer things that happened this episode, I don't think that's the case, and they're gonna have to come up with another plan. Um, Isabella was basically saying, the reason why I'm doing all of this is basically, I want to do it so you guys don't suffer. I do love you guys, but if you continue to fight your fate, you're going to suffer, and you're still going to die anyway. That's basically what she's saying. So she's like, I'm going to make sure your life is as good as possible before they kill you, <laughs> is basically what she's saying. And they try to fight her off um, after the plan of, of Ray trying to distract Isabella. The plan fails. Isabella locks Ray in. And Isabella goes to meet up with Norman and um, Emma, and they see everything that happened, and, and she basically catches them, and then she drops her facade, 
and he's like, this is my first time ever talking to you as a real person. Let me reintroduce myself. And then, and then she basically sp- spilled the beans like, I, yeah, I know f- the five of you, not the, just the three, the five. So she knows about Gilda and Dawn that the five of you are kind. Uh, I, I know what you guys are planning on doing. Don't. And they planned on trying to force it. Emma basically tackles Isabella and that doesn't really work too well because they threw a bag that had the rope to hide it. Um, so Emma tackles mo- tackles mom. Norman runs and grabs the bag. By the time Norman grabs the bag and catches uh, and gets into the clearing, Isabella, which was first like a little bit flustered at everything that was happening, breaks Emma's leg. She drops on the ground and snaps her leg. And boy, and then at that time. Dawn uh, basically bails out Norman, um, uh, Ray, and Ray, Nor- uh, Ray, Dawn, and Gilda meet up with them, and she sees it. But what was, what was a weird part? They do a quick little, um, they do a quick little snap where it shows Isabella and Emma going back to the farm, back to the house, and it's just those two, and they realize that Emma's. Emma's not doing too good. She's she's Emma, Isabella, Isabella is holding Emma, and from what I saw, I, I I could be totally just missing it because I was just focused on that. But it just seemed like it was the two of them. And at the very end of the episode, they basically said, "Oh yeah, by the way, you might want to celebrate tomorrow because Norman, your date just got set." <laughs> Which I don't know if that means that she, he's getting sent out tomorrow. I don't know. But like I said, this was a truly sad episode and i do apologize for not being able to react to it my computer just crashed as i was uh doing that but and i do apologize but i was legitimately shocked at when they killed off chrome and 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 her backstory made me feel bad for her and it made me like i really wanted to see how like what she could have became but like just from what i knew about her i still liked her as a character like as a character she she was batshit crazy but you can understand why she did the things she did to become this locked in position she was fighting for survival and i i still have no idea how this uh, how the series is going to end especially where there's only going to be four more episodes um and i honestly do not know how they're going to wrap this up at all my guess is they're going to actually still be able to break out at the end but i have no clue but anyways guys that is it for this video i do apologize for losing the reaction but i do know that this is probably one of my least popular uh shows that i react to mostly everyone watches my uh um which is funny though because they mostly watch kotoba no Hanayome, which i will be reacting to next um actually i will be reacting to kakegurui and then i'll be reacting to kotoba no actually i'll react to kotoba no Hanayome first and then i'll react to kakegurui um uh, i'll be but mostly everyone watches my kotoba no Hanayome, my rising the shield hero and kaguya sama those are the three that everyone just seems to like constantly just watch so i know I know for the few people who do watch though that reaction, I do apologize, but I wanted to at least give a review, and I will say that episode 8 is by far my favorite episode of the series, as super sad as it was, and it was really sad, it made me feel bad for Crone, it makes me wonder what's gonna happen, Isabella still has that that smile on her face, like everything's alright, but she knows everything, and it's just, she's like the mastermind, and I don't know how they're going to beat her, especially now, with all, everything they've been planning up for the last seven episodes, up until now, it has all just gone flush down the toilet, so I have no idea what's going to happen, but anyways guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed my little review, if you guys want to see more of this, let me know. Especially of shows that I'm not going to be able to or I won't be reacting to in the future. If you want me to go do this, I, I don't mind. Um, and I will have, like, as a, like I am, I have music playing in the background in one of my other uh, uh, videos. And then I have my headphones just sitting right next to it. So you might hear the, um, you might hear it in the background. Although, granted, it is doing some weird show. Oh, that's why. That, that's because the, <laughs> the cord was hitting the space button. So that would explain some things. <laughs> But yeah, um, anyways guys, that is it for this video, and I will see you guys soon for my Kakegurui reaction, um, and then go to, uh, actually go to Banohane, and then Kakegurui, I think I'll download Kakegurui in the background and then go from there, but anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time, peace.